Hello friends, I'm Ashish from Guiding Tech and welcome back to How To Mondays. Now today I'm going to share a very important piece of information and that is how you can create a backup of your Android device without a computer and without a root access quite easily. Using this trick you can create a local backup that is a backup of your uh, Android device that includes your messages, your contacts, your apps on the SD card and then later you can transfer them on your computer or any of the online drive if required. So let's get started and see how the trick works. So friends, we'll be using an app called Easy Backup and Restore and it can be downloaded for free from the Play Store. Now, once you have downloaded the app, you just need to tap on launch it and this is the screen you will see. Now, the thing to note here is that once you tap on backup, it will give you a list of applications like SMS, call logs, calendars and even contacts and dictionary that you can backup but it will not include the apps that you have installed on your device. Now to backup your app along with all the data you will have to use the module that says app tools which will list all the applications that you have on your device. Now it just gives you a warning message that if the device is not rooted it will not backup your uh, saved games data or the app data and will not be restored in any of the devices. Now we'll look into it, I mean look, uh, try to find out a way using which you can do it without root access but for now let's stick to the app and here it will give you the list of the apps that you have installed on your device. Now if you want to just backup of the, uh, the apps you'll just need to tap on it and if you want to create a backup of all of them you just need to tap the particular check marks and tap on backup. Now while backing up my apps using this particular app, I did find out that it takes a lot of time to back up the apps and they are not saved in the APK format but uh, the Easy Backup uses a different format to save these data and can only be restored using this particular app. Now let's go again to the backup and uh, once you want to create a backup you just need to tap on OK and here you can also get the option to choose drives like uh, Google Drive, OneDrive and Dropbox and these credentials can be configured using the settings. Now for now I'll just tap on SD card and it will ask me to create a name, uh, give a name to the backup so I'll just give a backup GD and tap on OK. Now this backup it's 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 not that long and, and it, it finishes quite uh, very soon. And if you want, uh, you can just tap on cancel button if you, if you want to just uh, cancel the backup. Now as you can see it was quite uh, quick and this, this is uh, a time where you get some ads, you can just tap on back and your backup is created. Now under settings, there are different options that you can choose and that is scheduling your backup and also saving the backup to, to online drives like Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive and even Box. Now, one interesting feature that I found in Easy Backup that it's not there in most of the backup apps is the option to backup the folder. Now let's say you want to backup uh, your WhatsApp folder or your ringtones, your music. You can just tap on the add button and then press the back button. So once you tap on it, in the next backup these folders will also be backed up uh, with all the other settings. Finally, you have the option like uh, backup encryption and also uh, backup the system apps. But if you're looking for a day-to-day -day backup, I mean, this will be pretty much far-fetched. So only if you know what you're doing, you should enable these options. Apart from that, uh, there is nothing more in the app. And yes, to restore, you'll have to tap on the restore button and you, can, you will be able to restore everything that you backed up. But to restore apps, you'll again have to go to the app tools and then tap on the option that says archived and here you'll find the list of the apps that were backed up on your device. Now the next thing to note uh, here is that these apps and data are backed up to your internal storage backup folder. So just in case, uh, I mean most of the devices these days don't have an external SD card and uh, just to make, uh, I mean just to be sure that you don't lose this backup when you need it, you can transfer it on your computer uh, using a data cable if you haven't uh, saved it on any of the online drives. So friends, that was how you can use the app to create a backup of your device without a computer. Now next Monday I'll be talking about a yet another app using which you can create a app backup along with its data and restore it without root access. 
So what are you waiting for? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do press the subscribe button. If you like the video, please do press the thumbs up button. This was Ashish from Guiding Tech and I hope to see you in my next upcoming videos. Till then, take care and have a wonderful day.